Hello friends, this is Mansoor Hassan from IT Marcus Technologies. Today I'm going to show you how you can install and configure uh, Team Foundation server for uh, for your uh, environment. Before we begin, just uh, take an overview about the Team Foundation server. What is uh, Team Foundation service and use for what? Say for instance, uh, you have a development environment and you have a couple of developers or uh, you have a team of developer who wants to put uh, pull uh, and push their code to the central repository and they need to access the code uh, from each other so what they do they use usbs and other types of media uh, to travel the data from across the system but uh, there is another uh, problem with that there is no versioning system or no versioning facilities in this method uh, in order to organize this setup, uh, we will use the versioning system like Git, SVN. But when you are using uh, Visual Studio, you don't have options to use uh, SVN or uh, Git. Uh, you, can, you need to use the Team Foundation server, but you need to use the Team Foundation server for uh, pu uh, pushing up the data to the central repository. What Team Foundation Server does uh, uh, with uh, Visual Studio, you can directly just check in the data from the central repositories, and anyone uh, have the access to the Team Foundation Server can check out the data. So uh, there are two versions of uh, Team Foundation Server. Uh, say, for instance, you have a big, large-scale environment of the developer, and you need to uh, implement a versioning system. So you need to set up a Team Foundation Server Standard Edition or Enterprise Edition. What is, and if you have a couple of developers who need to uh, push the data onto the central repository, so you can use uh, Team Foundation Server Express Edition. Team Foundation Server Express Edition, also known as a Workgroup Edition. You can use it in Workgroup environment, say if you don't have a domain environment, so you can use the server of Team Foundation Server Express Edition. Anyways, uh, in this tutorial, we will use uh, Team Foundation Server, and uh, I have downloaded uh, from uh, Microsoft uh, download page. Uh, you can download it from Visual Studio as well, uh, because I I'm using this link because I have uh, update number four as well. Now I'm going to click and download this uh, package from the uh, from the Microsoft download page. I have already selected the both uh, the Team Foundation Server. Uh, uh, installer and also uh, our update package both uh, so you can see the uh, installer is in ISO format and the update is in exe I just going to download it and I'm using server 2012 r2 uh, 12, server 2012 r2 box in order to uh, deploy the team foundation server uh, I'm just pausing the video meanwhile it is done I will be back so download process has been completed. Uh, now I'm going to uh, mount the ISO file into the CD-ROM. What I need to do is just need to mount, and it will be prompt as in my C drive. Okay. The next step which I need to do is to run the installer, and it's asking me path and the license agreement I say yes I am agree just go ahead and install the file it's installing the current currently installing the process uh, and the components of the team foundation server let it uh, let it completed I'm just pausing the video right here uh, as I thinking as I'm thinking it will take time let it run Okay, uh, if, if you have a large environment like you have uh, hundreds of developers, so you can't use Team Foundation Server Express to 2012 or Express Edition, any Express Edition of Team Foundation Server. It only supports the five user, five user uh, for Team Foundation Server. If you have a large environment, so you need the Team Foundation Server Standard Edition or the Enterprise Edition. 
for the prerequisite for that per, uh, that particular edition uh, like a standard edition you need to have a you need to you must need to have a domain controller and your team foundation server must be a part of that particular domain otherwise the user will not be authenticated for uh, project co collection or project uh, new project creation that is the main uh, difference between the team foundation server express and the team foundation server standard edition uh, Steam Foundation Server Express can be run in anywhere uh, uh, or uh, can be run in work group, can be run in domain environment, but a standard edition only can be run under the uh, under the domain environment. I'm going to pause the video. Meanwhile, the installation process is complete. I will be back. Okay, now we are done with the installation server uh, setup, and now uh, we are at the step uh, of configuration. Uh, currently, we will configure only Team Foundation application server, and we will leave the Team Foundation building services for right now. Uh, for this, I need to just start the wizard. Okay. Now it will ask me to install the SQL server automatically. I said yes and it will also give me the pro the path or uh, the user uh, for uh, in uh, team foundation server if i want uh, if i want to change that user uh, who running on the who running the team foundation services so i can use it but uh, i would prefer to use that nt account as well because it is default account so just uh, next mm, system verification Meanwhile, it is completed. I will be back. I'm pausing the video. Yay! Our installation system and configuration step also done. So I just need to next. I just need to click next. It give me the path. Uh, what I need to do is just need to copy that path uh, for my future use. Uh, I, you can log in via IP as well. Control C and just close the dialog box and just close the dialog box. Your team foundation server is ready. Okay, the next step you can manage that server from the console. This is the administration console. If you like to add a team foundation server uh, project collection, okay, in pro in team project uh, in team foundation server you need to do. Uh, and you need to configure a team project collection or uh, and then under the team project collection you will create a new team new team project okay you need to configure the team project team project collection from the administration console you can't uh, make that uh, project team project collection from the uh, web man, uh, web admin okay uh, now i'm going to create a new uh, administration a new uh, team project collection I'm just using uh, it dash dev. This is my product collection name. I can type the uh, friendly description here. Uh, this uh, is testing project. This is testing TPC team product collection. And then I just need to next, and I said yes. Create a new database collection for this. Uh, you will create a new database for this database collection next next and now it's saying verify and it's testing has passed now i'm saying just create it meanwhile it is going to be complete the system which we need to do is need to create a user uh, which will be connect which will be used to connect the team foundation server for this i need to use computer management console to create a user then I need to create a user and new user 
this is my newly freshly freshly installed box TFS one Okay, this is my full name. I will, I will be setting password. Welcome at one. Welcome at one. My user has been created. Uh, you can use more than uh, you can use up to five user. Now the next step, I am going to add this uh, user to a uh, to a couple of uh, uh, groups. I need to find okay my user should be a IS user and my user should not be the user group member so I'm going to remove it next advance find now and the TFS group member my user should be a member of TFS group member. Yes, TS Appetitor Services. Now another member. My user group should have to be a. Not necessarily. Your user must have to be the administrators group. Not necessarily. You can use it without uh, administrator group member. It definitely work okay my team project collection is done next and close this is what I have done with the <coughs> team project collection now I can I'm going to show you how you can configure it from browser so I just copied a path which I'm going to use I just copy the path Okay. And oh, oops, sorry. Pardon. That should be of uh, this part. Mm, uh, does not have this. Okay. Now it should ask me for the administrators. I am logging in as administrator. Okay, no problem. I am using TFS uh, one. I guess I use TFS one. I will. I am going to log in as an administrator. Okay, I'm logging logging into the web management console. It will take a while. Okay, here here I am. Uh, this is my administration console. I can browse for the project team project, and I can manage the permissions from here. If I want to administrator, administrator team foundation server, I can manage from here. Uh, this is my team project collection. If I want to assign a user any permissions or like any administrative uh, uh, management, I can assign from here and also assign con and also can utilize the administration console as well. Okay, currently I have a Windows user administrator. I wish to add a U. This is group. Mm, you can see the list of users uh, which can be logged into the administration console or uh, team foundation server. Anyways, I'm pausing here because the video is going to be uh, completed. Uh, and in next video, I will show you how you can. Uh, implement or you can create a team project collection from team uh, visual studio uh, to team foundation server till then take care of yourself thank you very much have a nice day